Hey YouTube, I thought I would do a weekly pocket dump. These are just the few things that I carried uh, this week um, that I found useful and I uh, enjoyed doing the last pocket dump and I thought I would do one more. Don't know if I'll do many of these, but I'll, uh, I'll do one or two. So we'll start with my uh, Chum's wallet uh, that was in my pocket. I'm still liking that. Uh, carries pocket comb carries uh, sometimes a pocket knife and uh, had it with me. That's very useful. Had, of course, uh, my little moleskin pocket notebook right to my back pocket. Uh, done a few videos on this. Uh, very useful. Used it uh, often. So often I don't know how often I used it, but I just kind of live with it. And uh, it's uh, been a really good addition. Uh, microfiber cloth. Used it um, quite a bit. And uh, we'll look at uh, maybe a multi-tool next. Carried my Swiss Champ every day. Uh, it's been in my pocket uh, in the office and at home. I've used it quite a bit too. I use the um, pliers to pull the uh, label, a little sticker off the bottom of water carboys before I loaded them onto the water cooler. I uh, use the pliers to reach in and pull little bits of paper out of a paper jam in the copier. And I even used the fish scaler to reach in the copier and kind of fish little bits of paper out to clear the uh, paper jam, and I use the scissors often to trim my mustache and my beard, and uh, I used the fingernail file a lot too, as a fingernail file. <laughs> so uh, I've used it to do everything from uh, smoothing over bits of PVC before I fitted them together. Uh, for irrigation, and I've used it to um, clean up my fingernails in a pinch. And I don't think I used the knife any. Uh, I used the uh, screwdriver once or twice. Used this magnifying glass quite a bit to look at the Tang stamp on old knives. Um, and it's come in really handy. I've carried this uh, K Stockman, which I just did a video on that, and I showed this gunky blade, and I was just determined to clean that up, and I just doused it with goo gone and let it sit, and then took a uh, an old credit card and just sat there and I cleaned it up, and I gave it a good oiling, and now it is really working good for a 40 year old knife. I am really happy with this thing. Gave it a good sharpening, a good oiling, and I'm not going to say it's as good as a new knife, uh, but I've really enjoyed carrying it, and it's come in really handy this week. Carried uh, my MicroStream. Now, this is my latest one. Uh, I've lost several of these, so hopefully I'll keep this one around for a while. I uh, really like it. Used it last night. Uh, my wife and I were coming home late from a baseball game and uh, needed that to find our car in the parking lot. And uh, I'm finding that as I'm getting older, just having a little bit of light to uh, help me see things, especially in uh, low light conditions, is really handy. And this is just uh, not too crazy of a light. It's uh, just a basic light. It's got low mode and high mode and that's it uh, there's no sos <laughs> there's no strobe uh well you could do sos you could do you know three long and three short and three long and three short uh but that would be manual so <laughs> there's no automatic sos but uh there you go pretty good uh little flashlight on my wrist this week was uh, this Casio A158W uh, cheap watch, uh, but I really like it. Uh, just kind of lightweight and disappears on your wrist. 
uh, my two weekenders. I wore both of those this week. And I wore this uh, F91W, uh, uh, about the cheapest Casio you can get. Uh, wear that often when I am mowing grass or cleaning animal cages or uh, working in the garden, that kind of thing. Uh, don't care if it gets destroyed. <laughs> I'll just go get another one. All right. Well, I think that's everything that I carried this week. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing expensive at all. Um, I don't really own anything that's very expensive. Uh, nothing that I'm too afraid to use or get dirty or even lose if that should happen. I appreciate uh, everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Hopefully, uh, my videos will continue to improve. I keep trying. <laughs> so if, uh, if you've got any pointers on how I can make better videos, uh, I hope to do more uh, B-roll footage and things like that, uh, get better at editing. Uh, but I appreciate everybody joining and uh, looking forward to learning more about making videos and uh, seeing this channel grow. All right. Thanks. Bye.